Kelsey, welcome back to my channel. I found this tier ranker list that that is female characters, female TV show characters. So I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna preface this by saying that if I don't know the character, I'm just gonna leave it, like leave them at the bottom. Ugh, oh, Abby Griffin. Hmm. Abby Griffin is gonna go somewhere in the middle because she had her moments. She wasn't always terrible. She had really awful moments too. She pissed me off sometimes, but then other times, like she was fine. So that's, I'm just gonna put her there. Um, oh, I forget her name from Elite, but spoiler alert, she's the one who died. She was actually like the worst of the worst. Like she was a terrible person, I'm not gonna lie. I can't even see who that is. Is that Debbie Gallagher? I think that's Debbie Gallagher. She's also going in Worst of the Worst because she annoys me and I didn't even make it to the later seasons to like see if she gets better. Funny Worst of the Worst immediately. Awful character. Terrible addition. Terrible. Um, I know her name's like Yikret or whatever and she's from Game of Thrones. Didn't watch that character enough to rate her so I'm gonna skip her. Um, Sarah Cameron. Sarah Cameron is gonna go in good because she's not bad. And I like her as a character, but I don't like go crazy for her like some people do. So I'll put her in good. Dorota is gonna go to amazing because Dorota has like never done anything wrong in her life, to be honest. Yona. Oh, see, I didn't watch the later seasons. This is a problem. And I know she gets worse in the later seasons. So I'm gonna put her somewhere in the middle. I thought I forgot her name. Uh, v, right? V and Kev? Yeah. So she's gonna go somewhere in the middle. Like she was fine. Like. She was entertaining. I didn't have like huge feelings about her. Ooh, Allison De Laurentiis. This is a tough one because she was a terrible person, but the choke hold that she had on me with her mystery, I feel like for that reason, she should go into amazing just because of the pure iconicness of that character, you know? Arya. I feel like she's going amazing because she like she slays to be honest. I'm gonna preface this by saying best of the best I'm saving for like my favorite characters personally. See like Hope Michelson immediately goes to best of the best because I love her. She's awesome. She can do no wrong. She's a mini Klaus and a mini Haley and we love that for her. Mama Stark. See I watched some of the first season so I can rate her. I would just put her in the middle. Um, I was sad when she died but I didn't have like huge feelings about her. You know what I mean? Mona. Mona is so hard to rate. Because I liked Mona. She did some terrible things, but I liked her. So I might put her in good. Because, like, she's pretty... She's a good character. Ugh, Freya Michelson immediately goes into best of the best. Freya Michelson is amazing. Again, she can do no wrong. Love her. Alice Cooper. Terrible. I'm sorry. Terrible. She had her moments where she slayed. But overall, like, terrible mother, terrible character, it's a no for me. Oh, Davina Clare, I'm gonna put in best of the best because I just love Davina Clare. Like, I know a lot of people don't, but I personally do. Oh, Maddie from The 100. Honestly, she annoyed me, so I'm putting her in bad. So sorry. She just annoyed me. I didn't like the later seasons of The 100. Like, I think it should have ended with season four, but I digress. Um, freaking Echo is going in... Ugh, should I put her in Terrible or Worst of the Worst? Because I see her and she just fills me with rage. I'm gonna put her in Worst. I'm gonna put her in Terrible. Because I see her and I'm just like... Ugh, disgusting. Please leave. Oh, I forget her name, but she's from Shameless. And she was the one that had like agoraphobia and was scared to go outside. She's actually kind of hilarious. So I'm gonna put her in somewhere in the middle. Clark Griffin. What a polarizing character. I should really do like a whole video just on the 100, honestly. <laughs> Maybe I will. She's a polarizing character because I'm, I don't want to get into all that, but like, first of all, she was terrible in the later seasons and the way she treated Bellamy was awful. I just can't even talk about it. But then in the earlier seasons, like she made some awful decisions, but she was doing it like for the good of everyone else and she had a lot on her shoulders but at the same time she made some decisions i don't know it's like some decisions she did have to make but there were some things she didn't have to do i don't know so like she's really hard to rate i'm gonna put her in in somewhere in the middle too but like first because like she's almost in good but like the way they portrayed her in the last few seasons of the hundred just like ruined her character for me 
because like if you would have asked me in season four i probably would have put her in like good or amazing but just because of the ending of the hundred like i can't see that character the same way anymore anna i feel like i can't read her because she died i'm gonna just put her in the middle because it's safe i don't know i have no thoughts at empty but we're gonna skip to veronica lodge ugh Terrible. I just hate Veronica Lodge, but I love the actress. The actress is great, but I think that character is so annoying and so cringy. Like, ugh. I can't. I can't handle it. I really can't. Don't know who that is from Game of Thrones. I know that's on my block, but I don't watch it. Don't know who that is. Now we're on to her. I forget her name. I know she's from the 100 and she was like from that planet. I don't have opinions on her to be honest like i'm gonna put her in somewhere in the middle too like she was kind of a slay because she was kind of a savage but like i don't have any opinion mandy from shameless worst of the worst she was so annoying Ugh. i liked the first mandy the actress who played the first iteration of mandy made you like the character the actress who played the second version of mandy made me hate the character which was such an interesting experience for me i don't have a whole lot of thoughts on lexi like she was kind of just there so I guess I'll put her in good, like, I mean, I was sad when she died, but like, I didn't feel like terribly strongly about that character. Mother Gallagher, terrible person, sad character. So I just, I just want to put her in bad. Nora from The Vampire Diaries. I'm going to put it in terrible because I think that whole storyline with the Lily Salvatore was terrible. I don't like the later seasons of The Vampire Diaries either. Oh, um... I forgot her name, Nadia from Elite. She was good. She was good. She was a good character. Again, don't have a whole lot of thoughts. Is that Caroline? Okay, Caroline goes to best of the best. I just couldn't see. Caroline's great. She is a classic. Love her. Okay. Paige goes to worst of the worst. I don't know who that next character is. I feel like I should. Because they look familiar, but I just don't know. Who is that? Is the next one that random character from Riverdale that like tries to kill Betty and Jughead? <laughs> I'm just put her in terrible. Because <laughs> I think that's who it is. Sybil, don't care. Let's just put it in terrible. Because I just, again, I just don't like the last season of the Vampire Diaries. This character from 13 Reasons Why, totally forget her name don't care about her just gonna put her in bad serena vanderwoodson she's kind of a slay because she's serena but she did a lot of terrible things but i'm still gonna put her in good i think well that's 11 from stranger things so she is immediately gonna go to amazing she's not going to best of the best because it's not one of my favorite characters but she's going to amazing oh um what's her name from sex education um, I forget her name. She's gonna go to good. Um, I was kind of over the main ship in the last season because they just took too long to get together. Like, I didn't care. I forget her name from Sex Education, but she's a slay. She's amazing. I don't remember any of their names. It's been so long since I watched it. Octavia. Oh, God. Listen. Once upon a time, Octavia would have been bitten best of the best, but now she's just an amazing because she did some bad things that I like can't support, but she was also like a queen, so. Kiara. Kiara's gonna go in amazing. She's not like my favorite character, you know, but she's still she's still cool, so she's gonna go in amazing. Um, Lizzie. Lizzie's gonna go in amazing, but she's gonna go first because she's wonderful. Josie, I just don't care about Josie because she just wasn't in there long enough, so I'll just put her in the middle. Betty Cooper, I I like that character, but that whole show is just kind of cringe. So I'll put her in good. No, Rebecca Michelson. Honestly, immediately goes to best of the best because Annie Michelson just goes all the way up there. I see Haley, and I'm gonna just skip and move her all the way up to best of the best because she is just a complete slay. I love her. She's amazing. She can do no wrong. Bonnie Bennett also goes into amazing and she goes first. She was amazing and she was mistreated in the show. Catherine Pierce gonna go into amazing. 
because she's just like kind of a classic. Elena Gilbert, good. I mean, she was kind of annoying, but like she was Elena, so she had she was great at the same time. Jessica Davis. You know, I actually liked her, so I'm gonna put her. Yeah, but I feel like I can't put her in amazing with that energy, so we'll we'll put her in good. Um, Emily. Emily was kind of amazing. Emily was great, so we'll throw her in there. Uh, Hannah immediately goes into best of best because I love Hannah. Where's Spencer? Can I throw her right up there as well? I don't see her. There's like too many characters and it's hard to scroll up at this point in time, honestly. Alright, we have Cersei. Worst of the worst. She was annoying. Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl goes amazing. She was kind of a slay, honestly. Uh, Nancy Wheeler goes in amazing. Joyce. Honestly, Joyce. Loki goes in best of the best. Like, she's kind of a slay. Uh, Tori Vega from Victorious. Uh, somewhere in the middle, I guess. Tony from Riverdale was good. I didn't really care that much about that character. I don't know who this is. Lexa. Lexa was amazing, honestly. Ship Wars aside, that character on their own was amazing. Cammy just goes in somewhere in the middle. I just didn't care about that character, honestly. Arya was good. Spencer immediately goes. Where is she? immediately goes to the best of the best like she was great too um that show honestly was a slay jenny worst of the worst blair immediately is gonna go all the way up to best of the best um josie is also gonna go up to best of the best again i just can't reach the screen uh daenerys is gonna go crap it's gonna go amazing don't know who that is sansa is gonna go in best of the best she was my favorite character in Game of Thrones. Uh, I didn't watch enough to rate this girl. I don't even remember her name. Didn't watch enough to rate her. Because um, I watched like clips of it. Raven is going to go in Best of the Best. Raven was a slay. Uh, oh my god. Max immediately goes in Best of the Best. She's great too. Robin goes in Best of the Best. She's wonderful. Uh, Jade is going to go... And amazing because she just contributes so much to the show oh my god i forget her name but she was amazing she immediately goes to amazing from elite oh, why can't i remember her name and her from elite carla i know she was like something something i don't know she's coming up there this character from elite goes to worse she was annoying this character from elite was a terrible she was annoying um cat from victorious was good i mean she was funny she served her purpose um this old lady who I think killed Joffrey gets to go good because she killed Joffrey. Um, Valerie, I have to put her in bad just because I hated that whole storyline. Is that Vanessa? She goes to worst of the worst. Marjorie, I remember her. She was good. Beth immediately goes in the best of the best because I just loved Beth. She had a special place in my heart. I was very, very upset when she died. Alpha goes into worst of the worst. Andrea, ugh, worst of the worst. She was so annoying. Um, Enid, terrible. Did not care about her. Tara, honestly, somewhere in the middle. I didn't like care about her as much as most people did. Lori, terrible. Carol, Carol's a slay, but she wasn't one of my favorites, but I'm gonna put her in good. Maggie immediately, immediately is gonna go to best of the best because She's awesome too. Both of the Green Sisters, they both just slay. Rosita, oh, she was kind of awesome too. I'm gonna put her in Amazing. Shone immediately goes into Amazing, but again, I can't reach the category. There's too much going on here. Um, this random person was terrible because that was such a boring episode of Stranger Things. Lucas's sister uh, was in the middle. I don't really care. Oh my God, what is her name? Yoza. I didn't hate of later seasons, so for that reason, I mean, I'll put her in the middle because she had some moments. Um, what's her name? Amori. Amori, honestly, was somewhere in the middle, to be honest. The mother from Sex Education, somewhere in the middle. She'd be traumatizing her son. Liz Forbes goes in good. She's a slay. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Jenna from Pretty Little Liars, bad. 
Ugh, Alyssa Chang from Legacies. Terrible. Uh, oh my god. Luna from The 100. Bad. I don't know who this is. I don't know who that is. Ew, Miss Grundy from Riverdale goes into Worst of the Worst. Literal Child Predator. I don't know who that is. Indra is immediately gonna go up to Amazing because she was a sleigh. Um, I think that's Sherry. Worst of the Worst because she killed Jeff. I can't reach. She's gonna go good because I was so depressed when she died. Joe is also gonna go in good because that episode of Legacies where she comes back is so depressing. Lily Salvatore can choke. She's gonna go in worst of the worst. Mrs. Vander Woodson, I forget her name. Somewhere in the middle, like she was fine. Um, this is far too many characters in my opinion. Liv, ugh, bad just because I didn't care about her. Um, Wheezy, it's just like, I don't want to put her in terrible. And she's not, I guess she's in the middle. I just don't care about her. Penelope. She was a sleigh until she left, so I'm gonna put her in amazing. I wish she stayed around longer. Um, Anna, Anna's gonna go in good, because I liked that character. Vicky, terrible. Never made a good decision in the show ever. Oh, what's her name? Oh my God, Regina, is it Regina? I forget her name, but she's she was a sleigh, because she was like crazy. So I'm actually gonna put her in amazing. I changed my mind. Is that Cassie from Euphoria? Cassie makes some terrible decisions, but I like that character. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry for people who don't. Okay, Kat. I don't like her. I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, oh. Forget her name. Why can't I remember anybody's name? She gives Spencer vibes from Euphoria. I can't remember her name though. Um, she goes in amazing too. She's kind of a sleigh. Um, Maddie immediately goes to best of the best because she's also a sleigh. Rue is gonna go good just because she's iconic. Um, ugh, Jules, worst of the worst. Uh, Lydia immediately goes into best of the best. Just can't get her all the way up there. Kira can't find her. She's gonna go in good. Um, Allison is gonna go amazing. And Malia is gonna go in amazing too because she's a sleigh. Um, yeah, that was like far too many characters to be entirely honest. Far too many. Was that a lot for you? <laughs> it was a lot for me.